Hey, thanks for checking out the Fuel Your Mission vlog this week. Today we're going to talk about how you stay motivated when you're not seeing progress. And this is a, a very important topic because it's bound to happen to anybody. Whether you're talking about uh, dieting and weight training or um, learning a new language or studying for your college exams, whatever the, whatever the situation is, we all hit that hurdle where the progress we're expecting to see, and maybe even the progress that we've had, tends to plateau. So the, the critical thing is, how do we keep ourselves going? How do we stay motivated? And I, I, I will say absolutely, uh, certainly in my experience, the hardest thing to do is to stay motivated when you're not seeing that progress, to keep pushing despite the fact that from your perspective, you're really not seeing the, uh, the result for your action. So it, it can be discouraging. It can certainly be um, <clears throat> enticing to want to quit and you feel like you're failing. The critical thing to remember at this point in time, and I could cite a number of different um, uh, different um, individuals that have have meant a lot to me in this regard. Jeff Walker comes to mind. He he's preached this many times over, and I'll link his page uh, in the bio below. But take action. Do something. Um, there's if you're building a business, let's use that example. There are always little minute things that you could be doing. And when you plateau and you hit a wall, maybe you're not growing your blog the way you want to, or your subscribers aren't growing the way you want to, the natural reaction is to relax and to not want to do anything. But there are so many other things that you can be doing. Send that final email, make that last sales call, um, pick up the phone and make a few more dials. There's always something that you could be doing and it's those little things, those little tweaks and changes that over time really do um, make profound success. So I would just encourage you with that today, just put in the extra work, um, do that little extra thing. And, and the, other, the other thing, um, just, as I, just as I'm closing the video up, is to take a look backwards. I think that's something that a lot of us forget to do, myself included, is to look back at where we've come. Um, you know, look back at the before picture, if you know, going with the weight loss analogy, look back at uh, where you were before you started going to the gym or look back to the time when you didn't have any blog subscribers or when you didn't take that first college class. And sometimes that reflection, you just need a fresh uh, perspective. And it's having that perspective that will, will remind you how far you have come and then it will plug you along to, uh, to continue to keep going. So the takeaway today, the bottom line is make that minimum daily action. That, that's a phrase that I love. I use that all the time thinking about myself when I feel that I'm not able to get to the tasks that I really want to. I think of taking minimum daily action. That basically means channel your energy into the smallest thing that you need to do that day. Just do that. Start there and then over time you'll really build on that and before you know it, you'll get that bad day out of the way and you'll be able to move on and be motivated when you're not seeing progress. Thanks a lot. Check back in next time. I have a new video for you and have a great day.